Okay, are we live? Are we live? We're going live. We're live. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, hello. I'm. I, this is my old accordion, my Camillo. Is it called the Camillo? Yeah, the Camillo. Uh, thanks for coming out. Good to see everyone. I love these little discussions. Just uh, hello, Sina. Um, it's so nice to see. Just um, it's nice to be familiar, to get more familiar with you. Um, that, that's that's a special thing that we have going. Thank you. I'll divide this hour-ish um, with questions, with songs. Um, Douglas just asked. Douglas had a beautiful thread over on Accordion Love. I'll go over there really quickly. Um, over on the Accordion Love forum. This is open to everyone. We have an Accordion Repair section. And Douglas took the plunge. And he has a thread called Don't Be Afraid to Look Inside. Douglas has two Titano accordions, I think, similar years, and he opens them up. And over here, there's a line, yeah, if you haven't played your accordion without the grill, try this now. Let's try it, right? And there's lots of other really good things about fixing reeds, how to clean uh, really, really good informative things. I'm always terrified of opening my accordion. I don't know why, but with, with Doug here, I'm going to do it. So there are two screw hand screws on my accordion um, I, I do have a backup accordion here I'm unscrewing them the bottom one good I'm gonna unscrew the top one oh, it's a little bit harder hello everyone hello my mom uh, little screws very nice and the grill should pop off around these buttons Ooh, very exciting. Um, and this is actually Martin. Martin came over when we did the stuck key repair, and he did this. If you have a key that's a little bit raised or out of height, um, there's a way to adjust these. These little, Mark, uh, Doug knows the name, I'm sure, they cover the hole, right? You see them move up when, uh, when you press a key. So let's, let's play with them off for today. Very exciting. Uh, I'm just looking, I'm saying hello. Uh, yeah, the Camillo, it's beautiful. Hello, Kristen, Valentina. I guess the one idea is if you're in a dusty place like our house, maybe most people's houses, I'm assuming there's a reason the grill is there. Maybe it keeps moisture down. Maybe it keeps dust off. Maybe it keeps my kids from playing with these. I'll play a little bit, uh, but it's very clean in here. I get it. I get it. Let me put it on. Just because Evo said, uh, I suggest to leave it closed. <laughs> There's a fear in me that I'm doing something um, bad to the accordion. So I'll, I'll put this on. I guess just to show everyone that you can take it off. You can have a look. Um, and just because, and let's see the, the, the trouble of putting it back on. Um, I hope everyone's been well. Um, I wanted to address a question. Let me do this. Good. So the bottom one came out easily and went in easily. The top one went out with difficulty. It's probably just the holes aligning. There we go. Good. Not difficult. Thank you, Doug. Uh, I plan on replacing the bellows of my Waltmeister downstairs. Yeah, I heard that it protects it from dust. That makes sense, right? Um, that, that makes sense. Good. Let's do, what did I want to say? Uh, I have these guys here. Uh, Martin lent me uh, a set of wireless microphones. I'm always looking at how to amplify an accordion. When I played in a band in Toronto and we would travel to music festivals, I got my Weltmeister and I had a little microphone placed inside the accordion with a quarter inch plug. So I could just plug uh, a quarter inch cable into it and I could wander around the stage. The it's a whole topic. You could YouTube. I think there are two or three videos about people mic micing, micing their accordions. When I've recorded in a studio, this is the solution. 
and you have an engineer and they place the microphone here and here and as a player you have to be really careful because this hand moves and so you don't want to knock into the microphone but you also want to stay really close to capture the sound right hand is fairly stationary so you can have a microphone right here fine what these microphones do and i did buy these off martin or i sent him a message saying i want to buy these because i like them they clip on here this is a reverse reversible removable uh 3m kind of uh putty like a tape and then one microphone hangs here one microphone hangs here and I could dance around with my accordion. There's a wireless transmitter here that I clip onto my pocket. And the other wireless transmitter, I tried to set this up here today, but it didn't work. The other wireless transmitter can be meters and meters away. And then the sound sounds great. It's obviously not a hundreds of dollars of individual microphones, but for the kind of playing that I do, and I move around a lot when I play, I really like that microphone. So that's what these guys are here for. Uh, and these are transferable. The package comes with a few of them. I'm not, uh, I don't know what the price is. Martin just lent it to me. I will buy it. Um, and I'm not a representative for Kimafun, but, but I really enjoy that, uh, that solution. Amazing, Doug. You played Itsy Bitsy Spider completely by ear. Hello, Anne. Hello, Wendy. Yes, Patrick. Hello, Patrick and Aaron are Facebook friends. Hello, Cindy. Good. Hello, Daniel. Yes, of course I remember you. Um, good. Let's let's play. Good. I'm just monitoring the chat. Let's let's get to some questions. Let's get to some music. Um, let's do it. Good. Um, so. Thomas, hello Thomas. Thomas and I have been exchanging emails. Thomas is looking for an accordion. And, and I thought I would address the question of the 72 bass accordion. I have, let me share my screen again. Um, under accordion love, before you begin playing, there's a free section, you don't need anything for it. I have something called, what size accordion should I get? And it's just a quick video explaining why you would wanna get a 90 bass versus a 72 bass versus a 48 bass and limitations. but. Um, but it's important to state again, what are the limitations of a smaller accordion? I still have the accordion from last week, which, is, which has 72 basses. So, so I asked Thomas what songs he wants to play. The reason being, sorry, this is, this is I get a, 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 a bigger question. I'll take a few minutes. Aside from the weight saving of a smaller accordion, it's going to be smaller, less mechanism, usually a bit lighter versus 120 bass and some of the other ones that I've played, which are heavier, might demand for you f to sit down, might uh, ruin your posture or be heavy to play. The limitations of the bass side and the right hand side is where we're gonna see those limitations. For a song, uh, for any song, look at the sheet music. And if there's a chord that's not between E flat and E, right? We have these 12 keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, nine times six is only 54. Where are the 72? 12, 12 means from A flat maybe? <laughs> 72 divided by six is 12. And so we need 12 keys. One, two, three, four, five. I have a 72 bass accordion. <laughs> Let's see how many keys it has. If you remember this accordion from last week, um, let's, let's count together. We have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this one is a D flat, a C sharp, all the way up to a, to an F sharp major. So we have a lot of keys. We have all the way from a C sharp, to an A flat, to an E flat, to a, we have all those keys. You can look at the Stradella bass system and you look through a song's chord diagram or the sheet music of a song. And if you see a chord that's not on this list, then you cannot play that chord. The other limitation is, let's say I have a song in 
a key that's right at the edge. This is a B minor. If I have a song that's a B minor, it'll go to an E minor. And when I come up here to the F sharp, I can't continue that bass pattern because I don't have it. If I need to go up from the B minor to a C sharp major, I have a C sharp, but it's all the way over here. I have to jump from here to here to get that full oompa sound. If I had more keys, a 90 bass, a 96 bass, 120 bass, I could keep playing up here. Now, 90% of songs that I play, I usually transpose down so I'm not hovering around these keys that I'm unfamiliar with. And usually, um, let's say a lot of songs hover around these the, the, these 72 bass keys, somewhere in the heart here. Folk songs, majority of songs. You'll come across a song that really stretches you from here to here, but that's not usually the case. So Thomas, my suggestion is try a 72 bass accordion. Look at the songs that you want to learn. If you're a beginner, try and find a place that will let you upgrade or do a trade-in program towards a bigger accordion. Speak to your music store and say, hey, listen, let me start with this lighter accordion or an accordion that you want. And maybe six months from now, can I sell this back to you and trade up uh, to a bigger accordion? Yeah. But anyways, that's the idea with limitations on the left hand. There are also limitations on the right hand. If I'm playing a song and I'm here, I'm missing keys up here. It's a limited sized keyboard. So I could play I'm right at the limit. And so if I want to take my solo up here, I don't have those keys versus my 120 bass, which usually has a, a wider keyboard. So yeah, uh, that's that's all I'm going to say right now about smaller accordions. Uh, the, 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 if you can afford both, go for it. Um, I really enjoyed playing smaller accordions. My Weltmeister is a 72 bass, and it's just nice to pick up. It's lightweight. I picked it up because I was playing a stage show, and I had to play sometimes two shows a night for hours on end. It was much nicer to have a 72 bass accordion. 80 is beautiful. And yeah, I was talking about six basses, I don't use the diminished chords. You could have five times whatever it is to get to 80. Great. Good. Um, I'm happy that there's a discussion. Wonderful. Awesome. Austin, it's your first time. Or Adrian, it's your first time. Ronan, I've been playing my own version of Tumbala Laika. Would love to hear your version if possible. Yes. Tumbala Laika. Let's play some music. That green accordion sounds really cool. I do like it. Let's do it. Um, I'll play. Hello, guys. Smalley, good to see you. I hope you're you're healthy and well. Let's play Tumba La Laika to I have a, the old boy waltz. We were um, having dinner last night, and I just started singing it to myself. So so I wrote down that song. Let's do it. Let's do it in C minor. <laughs> And let's do a, sorry, switch from a polka to a waltz. Switch. Good, let's do it. Uh, we're going to do a tumba la laika. Let's start off with a polka, and then we'll switch to tumba la laika. You know what, let, let, let's keep it separate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Berkeley, which is playing the same song on a 72 bass. Just to show you that eight different accordions will play differently. There are different sounds here, different pathways. I'll stay in the same key if I can. These straps are huge, by the way, so I'll lean back. But we have a. S I was in C minor. To la, da, da, da. I can reach. I'm right at the edge, but it should work. But the real limitation will be the right hand and the falling straps. <laughs> here. I'm right at the edge. So if I want to go up, I don't have a key there. Yeah, Thomas, let me know what lottery numbers you have in your mind and I'll play them. Uh, I'm not seeing anything but chat. I do have something broken. Doug, I think it might just be you. Thank you, Guy. Thank you, Guy. Happy New Year to you, too. Um, I'm assuming everyone can see things. Um, yeah, let me know. Doug, it might just be you. So, the constraints of a 72 bass accordion? Yeah. Uh, almost non-existent depends on the song you could work within them i would say especially due to the weight sometimes the sound of the accordion i love the dino buffetti too it was a five thousand something dollar accordion canadian because it was new this is a used accordion from s someone told me last week all, all about it uh this is for sale from martin for twenty five hundred dollars can reach out for Martin if you'd like to purchase this accordion. It's lovely, right? It had that 1-5 tuning. I might come back to it a little bit later. Good. Now I'm on. Great to have you back, Doug. Uh, I saw more people join. Hello, um, hello, Chris. Hello, Wilco. Uh, Henrik and Anya, hello. And Anna, hello. Uh, so nice to see everyone. Thank you. Um, good. So that's the difference between 72 and 120. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel constrained on Tumba La Laika. Yeah, despite playing in a different key. I said I would play the old boy waltz, but let's, let's address... Uh, Don, was it your question? How to switch from a polka to a waltz without your fingers getting jumbled? Um, Thomas, for sure. Start out with the 72. Ask the, the store around you, the music school, if they're open to a trade-in program. Say, listen, I love... Tell them whatever you'd like. I'm not going to tell you what to say, but if they're open to you trying out an accordion, pay them however much it is, and say, listen, if I feel like I'm outgrowing my 72 bass a year from now, 
do you, can you do a trade and I'll keep the accordion in good condition? See, see if they're into it. And if not, I'm sure you could sell the accordion and, and, and get a new one too. The upside down accordion is, uh, I, I don't, it's more of just as a teaching tool. Yesterday I didn't play the upside down accordion. I was meaning to all day, but um, it's kind of like a job, the upside down accordion. It's not pleasurable for me at all. Um, I, I could try it. I, I had a thing here about, what was it? I was gonna do, remember last week we did like an improvisation, I asked you for keys and we improvised. I was gonna do the same thing this week with chords and cut to why it's important to be musical. I don't feel musical when I play the accordion upside down. So, so I don't do it. Uh, I, I play the piano, I play the glockenspiel, I play the wooden spoons. I'll play this accordion, I'll play with my loop pedal. There's no desire for me to play the upside down accordion because, because the, I don't love it. I, I don't wanna do it. I'm doing it during the week because, because, because it's work. I'd love to show you and show the form and figure out some good habits. There's so many weird things happening, which is fantastic as a project, as a challenge. My right hand is doing this and my left hand is doing weird things. This is just a given, my, my form and the physicality of it. So how's it going? It's challenging, which is what I wanted it to be, but I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Good. Um, let's do, Martin said, hello, Marty. There is a 30 second delay. There's a delay on the live stream. Switching from a polka to a waltz. A polka sounds like this, right? I'll do a C major. You cannot switch between the two easily without a pause, without a silence. So I'll, I'll take 30 seconds and play a polka slowly. That pause had to be there. Now I'll switch back. Pause. Pause. So a few notes. The tempo, a fast polka or a polka beat. That's usually this, right? Once I pause, I can't keep going with a fast waltz in the same tempo. <sighs> the waltz will be slower by its nature. So A, the waltz will be slower, right? Normal polka. And maybe half the tempo for a waltz. One idea. The other thing is that I have to do that pause. <gasps> Inhale. I have a lesson called The Importance of Silence um, over on Accordion Love. You want to give your audience a heads up that something's going to change. Just like when you're about to transpose to a key, you do a hit. Right? And I switch from a polka to a waltz with a... I'm hitting the five here. If I'm in D minor, I'm hitting the A. Or I just give it silence. D minor. <gasps> there has, I'm not sure if there has to be that pause, but it's easiest for the player and for the listener to anticipate the change with a pause in the silence. Um, on accordion love. <sighs> Will it show up on nothing with silence? It's under uh, level two beyond the basics. Under adding interest to your playing, playing dynamics and volume control. I believe it's there. Um, the importance of silence in your playing. Look at this lesson because I give examples that the too long didn't read in general. Uh, pay attention to yourself and the listener. You wanna have that pause. <gasps> Audible inhale, hold the audience because something's changing in your music and obviously when switching keys and when switching 
uh, rhythms. And then the other thing is, what's it called when we bump it up plus one? We transpose. Um, transpose. How to transpose songs? Watch, oh, we should play the transparent theme song. Watch this as well, pushing a song up a key. This is what I do when I hit the five. So D minor. <laughs> changing tempo, changing keys. Actually, yeah, d just some examples on how to transpose because when transposing, there's usually a pause in the music or there's a change in the music. So that's that's my answer. Uh, good, Phaser, I don't have accessibility to Martin's store. Yeah, lots of other places. It was a nice line dance where the crowd promenaded in a big circle and then it suddenly went polka. Amazing, Marty. That's very good coffee. Good. I hope that answers your question. Transparent theme song. Oh, beautiful. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful waltz too. I'm just going back through the chat a little bit. I'm sure I missed some stuff. <laughs> I used to struggle with small accordion, so I went back up to a ladies 120, but now after Owen's tuition, I feel I would be able to alter the key to suit 72. Couldn't do that last time around. Amazing coral. Amazing. Uh, I had an appendix operation at Christmas, so I can't handle a 96 dominator yet. Luckily, I still have a light 48 bait. Good. Yeah. Frank, I hope you're recovering from the operation. Um, there's something so joyful about a small accordion. Remember I did a live stream three weeks ago with a Noble and then the Dino Buffetti? And I, it, it was, it's like, a, is it a Ferrari or a Porsche? They're both fantastic accordions. And yet, I had more command of the Dino Buffetti. There's something about a smaller accordion that gives me a bit more control. Um, I I'm sure there are analogies. It's throwing a hard ball versus a soft ball. My hand can fit around both, but the soft ball, I could, I could almost do a curveball. <laughs> um, yeah, Martin has the trade-up program phaser for sure. Um, as a beginner, it's funny to see your struggle. It's funny for me too. I, I laugh a lot when I struggle through things. Um, yeah, the pause between polka and waltz almost felt like a bass drop, right? There's expectation. Boom. Yes, good. Um, I'm gonna continue doing it. Hello. Hello, besties. Hello. And hello, Andre. Let's do, I'm gonna do the transparent theme song to the old boy waltz, waltz to waltz. And I have everybody wants to rule the world too. And I sang Sugar Mountain to my son. So we'll do a bunch of combinations. Transparent theme song, let's do it in F. <laughs> Let's change the sound a bit. Thank you. 
oh, this song is so emotional. It's such a, I don't know, if you watch TV and the theme song to a TV series sometimes takes you back, right? That's what music does with movies, with moments in life. So I remember figuring out the song uh, on piano. The original song is in F sharp major. And I think I have the recorded version in that. And I transposed it up to G and to C major. But I just remember being like, oh, I'm doing it. The, the theme song to the show Transparent, it's on Amazon Prime still here in the North America. Um, it's, it's like a beautiful montage of a boy growing up. Um, and uh, anyway, so to, to be able to express something that makes me feel so... Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about music. To be able to contribute, to be able to replicate the magic of that introduction to a show that's meaningful to me. Um, has always been special, right? Um, some people do it through singing, some people do it through dancing or drawing. Uh, I, I do it through music, and it just brings me right back to that uh, theme song. Um, let's do Old Boy Waltz, finally. We'll do Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Sugar Mountain, and Drunken Sailor. Yes. Uh, yeah, Paula, that is on, on Drunken Sailor. I'll show you where to find it. I think I still use the video an F sharp major. Uh, it's called Transparent. It's about a parent who uh, who realizes that they're of a, a different gender. They're, they're transparent. Um, note by note lesson, playing tips and techniques. So this is the thing where I was just, I told kid, I'm like, I got it, I got it. So this theme song, I it, it was so difficult to play in either C sharp major or F sharp major. I, I would never play that. But I got it. I was playing the, the theme song back. And so I set up my camera totally out of focus and I recorded it. Let me see. And e flat major. Oh, it's beautiful. And the sheet music, I hope, is not an E flat. Or it might be. Good. I transposed it to G. And the lesson is also, I, I don't think I do it in, in, in the honest key, but... No, it's not. The theme song is an E major. And because, sorry, this is, this is all, let's, let's bring it all back. The theme song is an E major. Let me, let me show you the, the, the trouble and why I was so happy to have that recording down and it's only 50 seconds and I don't introduce it. Um, and the importance of transposing songs. So here I am with my 72 bass Weltmeister accordion and I finally play this show back and the song's in E major. I'm a little bit afraid because I don't have too many keys left, but let's play it. <laughs> sharp minor A major Where does it go to? F sharp minor Essentially, playing right at the edge didn't give me an alternate bass on F, my F sharp minor. And in general, I'm not familiar with those keys. So I recorded it, totally cool. But isn't it easier to just play in G major or in C major or in F major? Know how to play it in the original key if you want, but the importance of being able to transpose because of the limitations of the accordion. I could play it in E major on my bigger accordion, but... Um, I, I guess a little lesson about the importance of uh, the limitations of smaller accordions and the importance of transposing too. Transposing is not something that new musicians um, try it, but it's 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 a it's a it's a difficult exercise. Good. So yeah, um, whoever has that, Paula. Yes, that's on accordion love. Let's play. I know those straps are amazing. I wanted to get a pair, but they're those are huge. Um, I'm, I'm sure Martin has them in other sizes too. But yeah, amazing! 101 viewers, we we made it. 
Um, I, 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 I'm very proud. Thank you. It's very nice. Thanks for coming out. Let's do Old Boy Waltz. Um, da 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 da. <laughs> Uh, that's the old boy waltz. It's the waltz from the movie Old Boy, which I haven't seen yet. Um, but it's beautiful. Avi was asking, what's the grossest chord you can think of? I don't know any. Jackson Parodi had this like crunchy chord a few weeks back. Crunchy being, it just sounded like gnarly. I don't know what, you know, each language has its own things where you're just like, oh, that's a nice chord. I, I can't make it. Sometimes when I sit on the piano, I'll do those things, but um, I don't know it on the accordion. It, 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 it's unreplicatable. Maybe Marty Green, if someone has a crunchy chord, let me know and I'll play it. Um, Avi Floof likely a finished seventh of a minor chord. A minor chord? Ooh, that's a... That's a major seventh of a minor chord, so a D minor. It's almost like diminished, right? It's like in a mystery thing. That's kind of crunchy, that's interesting. Yeah, um, let's do, yeah, Old Boy Waltz is beautiful. That's also an accordion love. Let's do, let's do a little exercise. We have, we have a hundred people. Um, last week I did a thing where I, I did a lesson about, um, this was on the live stream. I asked for some random notes and we had E, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, and we arranged it into a melody. And the, the, the thesis, the therefore was, any number of chords could fit under that. And that's why it's difficult when you find a little manuscript of written music that's just a melody or someone singing la 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 la. Um, that's Jingle Bells. It's hard to know which chords the composer had in mind, which is why sometimes it's hard to transpose piano music to accordion unless you have a recording. So I thought, let's do that exercise again, but maybe let's try it with chords. Um, if you're in front of the computer, I know I'm... 30 sec if, if you could write uh, a chord, uh, 
people write some chords, please. And I'll choose three or four chords <clears throat> and we'll make a melody over those chords. Um, yeah, l l let's try it. And we'll, we'll see how difficult it is. Um, try D minor six add nine. D with a minor six. I don't know what that is. Martin, you, you're gonna have to tell me the notes. Um, Ian, I won't play a Russian nationalist piece, but I was gonna play, um, we were talking about protests, I was gonna play Ohio by CSNY. Different things, but let's try it. We have G minor, D7, G minor, D7, D major, E minor, E minor, E minor. Let's take those things, G minor, uh, and a D minor 7 flat 5. D minor 7 flat 5, and an A mi C minor, and an A minor. Stop there. Thank you. We have G minor. I, I, I wrote them down. What are we going to do? And an A minor. Good. So we have G minor. So what's going on in my head? I'm looking for what's going to be our one chord. Where are we going to come back to? But let's, let's play it. So G minor, D7, E minor. Let's, let's play with those three for now. Let me, I'll, I'll share my screen. Let me start a new document. Um, I'm not showing my screen yet. Uh, do we have our doodle from, yeah, we have our doodle from last week. Uh, this is our live stream song. Right now, this is our live stream chords. Um, we have our G minor, D7, D, E minor, D minor, seven flat five. I need to see what that is, C minor and A minor. So the things that just jump out to me as being um, together are these guys. But kind of everything is hovering around around here, right? We don't have, no one said F sharp minor. So, so that should be fine. Let's play these three. Um, D7 and D I'm going to put together. Let's try and play these three. G minor. D7. E minor. It's a big jump, right? Not, not perfect. Let's try it backwards. E minor, D7, G minor i'd love to change this to a major but let's let's go let's go g minor to d7 there's a song that's our minor one to a five if i could cut and paste a little bit let's come uh here we have a g minor c minor d7 c minor d7 g minor Right there is a nice chord progression. Um, what's D minor seven flat five? D minor, D minor seven flat five. D minor seven flat five. I could play the D minor seven flat five if I had a C minor to resolve to finally. So I'm gonna change that G minor to a G. Anyways, let, let, let's, maybe this wasn't the best exercise. Essentially, there, there needs to be knowledge of, of what sounds pleasing. If we were to take what was given, which was G minor, D seven, E minor, let, let me play that. G minor, D7, E minor. We could do a song for this, right? G minor to D7 to E minor. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> if 
we go back to to the read there's something to be said here right we could write a song let me let me go back to screen share. I, I i don't want to just have an easy way because this is something that i'm used to that's an easy way out um the d minor seven flat five sure right D minor 7 flat 5 to G to C and then we can actually go to the A minor it's a nice walk down that's a nice uh, chord uh, it's crunchy the flat 5 chords the G minor to D7 to G minor I guess I'm not a songwriter I don't know what that sounds like maybe you're hearing a melody sorry a melody in your head so G minor to D7 to G minor to E minor it doesn't work for me I can't hear it Maybe G minor to D7 to E minor, right? Those were the chords that were given. Essentially, this is what we're listening to. I'm trying to complete the chords under it. G minor, D7, E minor. D7, I'm going to choose the A. I'm choosing notes that are in that chord. And then from the E minor, I could choose the G. So that's a nice progression. Ta -da, ta -da. Right? It, it would be nicer as a back to the G minor, right? It would be nicer as a... There's a finality. The E minor isn't the perfect ending, but it doesn't stop it from being a song so i'm just going to improvise for a minute over it let's see what we can make of it g minor d e minor if you want to try on your own accordion <laughs> Going backwards, E minor to D. Back to G minor. Let's see what happens if you go from a G minor to an E minor. Ooh. Why didn't we do that? G minor to E minor. The only thing that's changing, this is a G minor, G and B flat. E minor, move the flat to the natural B. Right? Very Tim Burton, very Halloween. You're right, Martin. to D7. And Marty says something very nice, which is, you know that it would be a, a you know that it would be a true, you know that I would be a liar, if I was to say to you.
Thank you for that, Marty. Good to hear. Um, so it's doable. And some chords are harder than others to connect. But I guess what I wanted to show is upon first listen, I wanted to back out of it. I'm like, no, 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 it's not easy. I don't want to connect a G minor to an E minor to a D7. It's not right. But sitting with it for a minute, it became musical. How? By choosing uh, the chords of that song, the notes of those chords. G minor. To a D7. E minor. So then we just sit there with it, right? With the triads, with the arpeggios. We try it backwards. Yeah, E minor to G minor. For me, maybe I would leave it. I would go downstairs, maybe sit at the piano and play those things while drinking a coffee. Maybe pick up a glockenspiel and every instrument tells a different story, right? Maybe it's just the E to B. That would sound really interesting on a Glock. So, so, don't abandon, I'm telling myself advice as well as sharing advice. I shouldn't abandon ideas so quickly. Some chords are harder to connect. Some chords are almost impossible to connect. But we can make something of it, right? That one sounded spooky. Uh, Douglas, I remember you were collecting uh, chord combinations. Maybe there's uh, like a little wheel, almost like a circle of fifths, but it's like, oh, E minor to G minor, spooky. Halloween, Tim Burton, kind of like a, uh, it's like developing a palette, right? But for music. Oh, when I go from a C to an F, it's joyful. Etc. Um, oh man, the eight minute organ lead. It's huge. It's an A minor, isn't it, Marty? The ba -ba 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 A minor to B minor, right? Yeah, it's, it's a huge. Uh, who is the guy? The the organist from the Doors. Ray, not Ray Kurzweil. You, you know who he is. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to Google him. Sorry. Uh, organist from the Doors. Ray Manzarek, right? Manzarek. Yeah, good. Ray Kurzweil. What, didn't he write uh, Fahrenheit 451? Sorry. Anyway, um, someone will correct me. I don't know the Waltz of the Lost Dreams. I'm sorry. Light My Fire is great. Um... Star Wars sounds good on a Roland. I saw that question before. My friends asked me if I can play the Star Wars theme on the accordion. Do you have any advice for playing that song? Patrick, I don't... I don't play it. I know it's... So G major, F, E flat, D. There's that chromatic walk, not chromatic, there's a walk down. <laughs> Practice those walk downs. Double check that those are the right notes. Just Google Star Wars main theme sheet music um, it, it, to see what that's like. But like learning any other song, it's a John Williams piece. It's a classical piece. It's going to be difficult. Oh, one minute, Wolfie. I'm still on a live stream. Oh, yeah. So Jack. Whoa, beautiful. He won the he won the battle. Cool. Is this from the Easter egg from the Kinder Surprise? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you soon, okay? Amazing. See you soon. Hold on, boys, I'm still on a live stream. Yeah. You got a Jack Jack too. Boys, can I I'll come down in a few minutes, okay? okay. Go downstairs, please. Thank you. Go, that's the camera you're looking at. Okay, bye boys. Go downstairs.
Bye, can you close my door? Yeah. Thank you. That was very the sweetest interruption. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah, the Watts of La Yeah, Ray Manzarek. <laughs> I'm just looking at the 30 second delay. Um, let's do <laughs> let's do um yeah, Doug, we should do that. Just like, it's like developing a palette. I don't have a perfect palette. There's a musician called Jacob Collier, and he's a magician when it comes to chord combinations. He he says, he does live streams. He's, let's call him a musical genius. He can connect any chords beautifully. C to F sharp to B major, sure, he'll connect them. And he... Uh, uh, someone did a, like, it's called like the Wheel of Musical Styles, and they say, play something dramatic. That's what it sounds like. Say, play something romantic. Hear the chords that come to his head. He has a really good feel for, um, for music. Jacob Collier, C-O-L-L-I-E-R. Um, let's do Drunken Sailor. Oh man, next time we should meet Kate. I've been asking Kate, uh, to come on these live streams just to sing a song. Um, she has a great voice. She's not a singer, but she has a great voice. And so I'd love to just accompany Kate on um, on accordion. But then who watches the children? Um, let's do... Um, we did a switch from polka to a waltz. Transparent theme. We did Drunken Sailor. Good. J just to wrap up that thing, um, musicality is a big thing. Um... <laughs> If we were to play the accordion backwards, j just to wrap up that idea, given three chords, right? What was it? It was G minor to E minor. Sit with your accordion and try it, right? A, you have to be able to hit those chord transfers. You have to be able to do a G minor to E minor back and forth four times, five times without mistake, just to start to hear what that sounds like, right? So I can't do it with my right hand. My practice needs to be progressively larger bass jumps before I could even begin to to do these improvisational exercises. I need to work on my tone. I need to work on my musicality. But again, I am in my day three of playing the accordion upside down. That challenge of trying to come up with a melody is different from three day old Ronin to, to Ronin that's been playing the accordion for, for almost 20 years now, I wanna say. No, yeah. So, uh, so, so play with whatever level you're at. If your level is just trying to get the bit this smoothly, like I am, sit with that. Sit with a G minor to a D major. Right. That's that's more doable than than trying to skip ahead uh, a few months, a few years. Take your time. Be patient. Good, let's do, um...
up she rises way hey and up she rises way hey and up she rises early in the morning what shall we do with a drunken sailor what shall we do with a drunken sailor what shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning way hey and up she rises way hey and up she rises way hey and up she rises early in the morning put him in bed with the captain's daughter put him in bed with the captain's daughter in bed with the captain's daughter early in the Katusha Drunken Sailor. Uh, Jackson, we were speaking about you. What? I mentioned Jackson before with regards to... To what? Jackson was a good thing. Anyways, Jackson Perotti, check out his channel. Does someone remember what it was about? Anyways, you can look through the replay. It was a good thing. It was about 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, good. Katusha, very lovely. This is coming off. This is coming off this week. I need to do a video for work, and uh, and I'll I'll miss the I'll miss the mustache. So the key change was just plus one, plus one, plus one. We started off in G minor. Uh, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? And then we hit the E to go up to A minor. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? A katusha, and then we hit the F sharp to go up to the B minor. Ba, 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 ba. It was your arrest record, Jackson. I'm trying to remember what it was about. I don't know what it was about. It, it, it will be on the on the highlight. It is on the record. Um, oh, Joanne, hello. Joanne, did you see the, the kids? It was very sweet. Yeah, if, if you're on YouTube, Subscribe to Jackson Perotti. That's how you spell his name. He's four comments up. Oh, man. It's always a wonderful sight to behold. He does live streams like this one. They're, they're, they're wonderful. It was full tones up. Yeah. Let's do good. We did two, we did a uh, Katusha. We did Drunken Sailor. Um, we improvised a song with chords. Uh, I want to write a pirate song on guitar. Can you give any tips? Because accordion is so close to the pirate songs. Uh, Serkan, choose two chords. Uh, I have a guitar in the other room, but I, I'm not a great player. Do you have lyrics for the pirate song, or is it a melody-driven pirate song? Um, play two chords. It's more about the feel of the pirate song. Choose a minor chord that you know. Let's say D minor to D minor. Because it's easy on the guitar, you could play it open to an A7, right? The minor one to the five. D minor to an A7. D minor. Jackson doesn't mean bird, yeah. Right? Um, give me a second, I'm gonna go get my guitar just to show you that it's more about the feel of the song than the th then the chords being chosen I'll, I'll, I'll be right back
something felt. So this guitar may might be in tune. Okay, so my pirate song is in D minor. Right? You want that mm -ba -ba, mm -ba -ba, mm -ba -ba, mm -ba to A7. Or right? I don't play guitar well, but that's the idea. You want to choose two chords, maybe, maybe a D minor to an A major, and then uh, sing your song over them. Tell so uh, stories of the big C and of a lost love and a lost treasure. I think that's more about the feeling of that song. Um, right? Yes, Jackson, the crunchy chord. If you're still on the live stream, Jackson, a month ago, he had this like wonderful crunchy chord, I think on the piano. Do you remember what it was? I remember going on your live stream, you just had this like, this, it, it was super awesome. Anyways, um, that's what I would do with a pirate song. Choose two chords to start with, D minor to A major, and then it's more about your lyrics. Um, Right? Even go down to a G minor to an A major. Those three chords. D minor to A major to D minor to A major to G minor to D minor to A major to D minor. Which is basically what you can also copy another pirate song. D minor to C major, the whole time. I like my add four. What are the notes to that? Add four? That's just a very clean kind of sound. You just keep adding four, so like a C, F, E, B flat, E flat, a flat, kind of like a four, right? Kind of four, maybe? Um, let's do, let's do uh, canon and D. I want to play canon and D in a different key though. I think I'm too used to D. Let's do it in uh, B flat.
love it. Paco Bell's transposing in his grave. <laughs> um, I like that. Um, some good advice for your pirate song. Um, yeah. Add seven would be G A D F sharp. G A D F sharp. That's too beautiful. You had a real crunchy chord. Um, it was, I think it was on piano, so you were able to get that spacing. Um, canon in D and B flat up to C. It's true, with the old E major uh, ending there. Um, I, I think I'll play a few more minutes. I know the, bo the boys are home. Um, we did a lot today. Again, if you haven't checked it out, check out um, Doug's opening up of the accordion. Um, where was it? Here, don't be afraid to look inside. Douglas, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I had a question for you about where, where to get um, replacement reads. Um, if you have a source, um, but yeah, this is open for everyone to look at. There's a lot of nice advice there on the accordion love forms. It's open to anyone to, to, to look at. Uh, I'll do a klezmer song to end. It feels nice to example, drunken sailor chords, D minor and C major scale D E. Oh yeah. Everybody wants to rule the world. Good one. Thank you. See if I remember it. Pa, pa. Good, we gotta do that in A major. would I choose this key? Maybe we'll choose the first key there. Experimental. How how songs come into my head? Obviously, you 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 email me songs that you want me to play, and I add those to my list. And then 
Um, and then I'll get songs in my head throughout the week and I'll add them to a list on my phone. And then Sunday comes around and about 20 minutes before the live stream, I write them down. And so I have Ohio written down and Sugar Mountain, which I sang this week. And, um, and uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I haven't played that song in a really long time, but, but, but it comes out eventually. After a few tries, I'm singing it in my head and, and it does come out okay. Um, I do too, that's why I stick with Ronan. It helps me apply myself to the accordion. My way from the next door is that. Tears for fears, yeah. I like the experimental nature of this live stream, me too. Let's do Ohio just because um, the situation's flipped around, but uh, yeah, th there's a lot happening politically. Let, let's, so let's play Ohio. Um, I'm gonna pull up the lyrics because I'm gonna, me and lyrics don't work well. Uh, Ohio, CSNY, right? CSNY, lyrics. I hope I know the chords. Um, let's do it. Let's try it in D minor. Ten soldiers. Oh man, that's high. Ten, ten soldiers and Nixon's coming. Ba, 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 ba. Let's play it and we'll see if lyrics come out. minutes, Wolfie. Did you draw this for me? Look how nice that is, Wolf. I did it with lots of colors. That's amazing. Thank you. He's ultra frozen. He ultra frozen? Yeah. I'm going to play this last song and then I'll come downstairs, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. There are songs that are powerful enough as they are, right? We could switch it to be acoustic. If I was to play the song acoustically, I'd probably get a, a, a more interesting rhythm. Yeah, Joanne, right? We spoke about this yesterday, just about um, jo Joanne is my, my, my mother-in-law. 
you remember watching on TV, just, pe yeah, j just injustices in the world, the power of government. Um, hopefully everything gets restored beautifully uh, with our friends in, in the States. Um, anyways, powerful songs. <laughs> beautiful song anyways that's all for this week i told my son it would just be one last song uh thank you everyone thank you on uh for coming out uh for spending time together i hope that next week i'll have i've been i really wanted to get it for this week but i didn't have time to use to get the loop pedal up here i've been playing with my new microphones and looping myself looping myself yeah uh that's a nice way of saying it. essentially creating my own backing track through a loop pedal and so I'd like to do that for this live stream next week. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you're well. Check out accordionlove.com. There's a free three-day trial. Stay safe. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.